Welcome to the GAC Weekly. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad that you are joining us today as we are journeying through the GAC and getting to visit with uh, each of the member schools, 12 member schools, of the Great American Conference and getting year 10 under what we actually have with us right now, the athletic director from Washita, the, uh, the great David Sharp. And i uh, really glad to get to visit with you this morning. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, Talk about uh, life there in Arkadelphia. How's it going for you? Uh, I'm glad to talk to the great Joey too. I'm not sure I'm great, but I appreciate those words, uh, Joey. Yeah, yeah. No, we're we're very, uh, you know, we're 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 in the mode just like everybody else is. But it's an exciting time. It's 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 challenging times. It's different times. But man, we're pressing forward. We're preparing just like we would any other year with a lot of different caveats that we're having to pray uh, prepare for and yes, pray for. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's good times and, uh, you know, it's quiet right now, but we know in uh, less than two months, we're going to be moving and grooving. Well, yeah. And, and don't forget, I know you do need to pray for those things too. There's no doubt. Uh, listen, I know Absolutely. lots of changes across the board in division two, probably the, the most visible one is the reduction in maximum and member uh, minimum number of contests. Uh, just uh, seriously, though, across the board for all categories, is there anything Division Two nationwide that stands out to you? You know, uh, not really. I, I think that, uh, you know, from the Commissioners Association through uh, the D2 ADA and, and uh, the process at the um, – at the NCAA through the championships committee, legislation committee, management committee, or management council and the president's council that th this has been vetted. And I think very well thought out and uh, they've got to think about a lot of things for a lot of different schools. Um, I, I think the thing that, that sticks out the most is to me is every area of the country is different. Okay. That, that, that to me, that's that's where you know <clears throat> yeah if i'm the northeast 10 in a rural and i'm in a very urban area yeah i, I can understand that or if i'm the armac in what is very vast area it's just completely different and uh so and uh <clears throat> of course with um you know as you know and you've you've seen and heard and read and whatever if you watch the news or read papers that you know there's a resurgence in cases and um, that that's that's obviously I'm not going to call it alarming. I'm just going to say that it's you, you know it's running its course, yeah. and uh, <clears throat> so we've got to um, you know we're we're going to continue to prepare and we've got to have strategies and plans for everything that we do. I understand. I understand. Well, as we're speaking now with David Sharp from Washita, uh, I football has been so good to the folks in Washita in recent years. And the, the last time I got, or one of the most recent times I got to hear you was at the post-game broadcast with Rex Nelson and his crew uh, following an unfortunate loss in a playoff game. I'm sure everybody's ready to, to start talking about football there again and, and see if the Tigers can repeat again. Well, I'll tell you what, we've, we've been very fortunate. And I'll tell you what, Coach Knight and his staff have done just a remarkable job there. They, they, they've combed. Uh, the region and uh, they've, they've recruited well, they're, they're, you know, they've, they've just had a, a great run of players, but they do a great job in preparing those players, getting ready to, you know, get ready for the season and, and uh, you know, somewhat have stayed healthy, even though we've battled injuries like everybody else does in division two. And of course the depth in division two is not near what it is in the other levels, but uh, you know, he's done such a great job and yes, we're, we're, we're very, very, uh, you know, pleased and grateful for the success we've had. And, uh, you know, they're, they're at it and, you know, they're, they're, they're preparing as we speak as a staff getting ready for, you know, August to start practice on August the 10th. You know, it's, it's not the, the only part of the athletic, uh, department there at Washita that's, uh, seeing some, some activity going on saw that, uh, very recently coach nut announced that there were seven new signees, to the men's basketball program from all around, including internationally, Spain, New Zealand. My goodness, the reach of Washita is is quite vast right now. Yeah, Coach Nuts, you know, Coach Nut turns every stone, and uh, he he and his staff, and they they've done a remarkable job of bringing in seven players, as you said, international flavor, and 
we actually have a, one of one of the players is is from Spain. His his father is the uh, the assistant coach for the Toronto Raptors, and he also um, is I think coaches the international team in Spain. So or is, is involved with that. So very fortunate there. Uh, looking forward to seeing those guys play. And uh, of course, Robert Dallimore will be starting his second year. As you know, he came from um, Little Rock, University of Arkansas, Little Rock, and was served under you know the the Joe Foley, who you know that name rings a lot of bells around the country. One of the best women's basketball coaches around, in my opinion. And so Coach Dallimore's had a fantastic year of recruiting too. And uh, looking forward to watching those programs, along with all of our other programs. All of our other coaches have recruited hard, too, in, in all of our sports. And, um, you know, we're ready to get the year started and uh, get going and, and uh, you know, adjust as we go. Of course, we're heading into year 10 now of the Great American Conference, and so many things have happened during this time. I believe the talent level in, in the league has grown. Competition level has grown as well. And, of course, you guys are doing a, a great job in leading this league. Can you talk about your take? on the GAC heading into year 10? Well, first of all, the leadership and our, our presidents have, have done an outstanding job of, of pulling together. But I, you got you got to think about Will Pruitt and Audra Keedy and the job that they've done in, in pulling all of this together. And, and a lot of times things go on behind the scenes that people don't realize. You can't thank them enough for all they've done, especially in these times and uh, we especially like that. But I, I think the Great American Conference is – has made leaps and bounds. And when you look back at the history of us and when we started and a lot of people said, oh, that conference, you know, is, is this, that's it's gonna be this. And and I think the, the Great American Conference has shown, the schools in the Great American Conference have shown that we're a very competitive league and we're gonna be there for a long time. And I, I'm, I'm excited and thrilled that we're a part of that league and, and looking forward to the next 10 years. All right. Well, I, I concur. I think that uh, that Will's done a fantastic job and Audra and Eric and, and Stephanie, everyone involved. And of course, the leadership of the, the athletic directors, including you, uh, you all have done a great job. So thank you for your work. David Sharp from Washita. Thank you for joining us today on the GAC Weekly. Thanks, Joey. You have a blessed day. 